I mean, God damn, dude. <laughs> so shameful. <sighs> one good thing, man. That's all I ask. One good thing. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Dios mío. Uh, you know what? What's going on? All right, social media is just going crazy now. What is happening here? Oh, through Twitter. What kind of drama do we got here? What is this? What the f- What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to a, uh, yeah, let, let, let's just say, welcome to a, an interesting video. <laughs> I mean, as you guys can see, I'm a little hyped up about this news if what I'm seeing right now is true. Now, if you guys probably have not heard what's going on right now, then uh, you guys should probably go ahead and look at social media, especially at Lionel's tweets, because, uh, Let's just say there is a certain photo that kind of broke the internet, but we'll get into this whole story in a second, guys. Again, everything I'm saying right here is just pretty much speculation, so if it is not true or some parts are actually true, then by all means, then we're going to be in for a hell of a treat. But what I'm trying to say, guys, is that the internet absolutely went wild with this, with this photo, all right? And this happened on Monday, May 15th. Literally, I think by the time I was about to go to bed, I think it was like around 11 or like 12 o'clock in the morning, and I just happened to win on Reddit, and apparently uh, this thing was already starting to spread like wildfire. And as you guys can see right here, here is the photo. This is uh, supposedly some some guy um, known as OP. I believe that's uh, what he's remained to known as. I believe uh, he actually uh, was at. If you guys know, I know. I mean, Darlington was you know last week, so a lot of tourists were actually at that race, and of course, you know, a lot of them wanted to visit you know the motorsport shops and all that stuff. So uh, this individual knows known as OP. Um, he actually um, he came down for the Darlington race, and he said he was checking out all the team shops to get merged. Um, and you know, who doesn't do that? That's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, heck, I, I do all the time. As you can see I have a shitload of die guess. But anyways, we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about OP. As I believe what was like, uh, he said he stumbled upon this thing when he was at the Henry Motorsports shop, guys. So if you guys are wondering, okay, this guy got at Target or he got at Walmart. No, not yet. Because if you look at the photo, actually, you see um, this car actually um, <laughs> it, uh, right behind it. You can see there's the Alex Bowman car um, that I'm recently going to be doing the diecast review on on the throwback car from last year. And also another Alex Bowman car, the Patriotic car for the 2023 Wave 1. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this was just so random at first. I, I mean, that, that when I, I didn't find this out until like the next day. So we're here on Tuesday, the 17th. This is when, you know, everyone's waking up and all of a sudden just this photo is blown up right here. So what this photo represent is re representing right now, guys, is something that I think a lot of diecast collectors, as we're now getting onto the segue of this video, it's like, all right, when's he going to say it? When's he going to say it? Winter Circles is back. Winter Circles has made a return. <laughs> and already, that is a lot of people are saying, nope, this is not real. Because if you look at this photo, guys, and we're going to be kind of debunking this, and there was a lot of people that were doing this. So you can see, the first giveaway of why someone might not think that this might be real is um, the clamshell packaging. And you can see, it's one of those clamshell packagings, which are probably something very similar to, uh, like, this Ricky Rudd car right here. Um, you just open it up right here, and then boom, as I just completely disintegrate my die cast. So I'm going to have to... Uh, um, probably fix that uh well it's gonna be more fixed than you know a freaking ptc mold car so <laughs> sorry rod i love you um he needs the snickers but um getting back to this guys we got ourselves the uh the kyle larson fontana win from 2022 and that's another thing i think a lot of people were like okay well you can see this thing is with the white chassis so it's not the gold series car um and it's got no window banners as well so might look legit on that part um but still getting people that'd be like hey this is a 2023 wave uh why is it not a 2023 car um sometimes it's like that but i the winter circles thing is just the logo and just seeing the logo on the packaging and on the trading card too that just really kind of caught my eye because I was like, huh, this is really weird. So um, 
I, I that, that's the main reason why I think a lot of people thought this photo was fake because of the clamshell packaging and the Winter Circles logo. Plus, why would Winter Circles and NASCAR Authentics be in the same name together? I mean, technically, NASCAR Authentics is Winter Circle. Well, what's really interesting about this as um, we will be going back to this photo. We will be going back through this photo many, many times in this video, guys. So, you know, <laughs> I know sometimes I, I might come off a little unorganized and, you know, whatever sometimes. But th th there, there's something that's really interesting about this Winter Circles um, because uh, <laughs> let's just say that um, apparently Lionel, I don't know who got the screenshot right here, but apparently Winter Circle, the actual license got bought by Lionel back in December. December, so that that uh, December seventh of uh, twenty twenty two, I mean that that right there, I was just like, okay, this is really weird, but it all looks legit. I mean, you see, there's more documentation right here of you know the lot of Lionel Racing acquired the Winter Circle sign. So a lot of people are like, okay, um, Lionel was teasing some stuff, like what new big stuff that's gonna be coming out soon. But this right here was just weird. And what's even weirder, guys, if you go to the website known as thewintercircles.com, it might look kind of like fake, whatever, but it does say coming soon. It's wrong logo, but kind of weird to have a, uh, a website saying coming soon at the same time of this uh, leak. And what's even interesting about this, guys, because of how popular this Winter Circle uh, car <laughs> exploded on the internet, guys. I mean, it created a big firestorm, even to the point where even people started tagging Lionel Racing into the photos. And um, even got some of our good buddies from the YouTube uh from YouTube uh, world from uh, Eric Eastep and the Daily Downforce. So even they were in on it as well. They were like, wow, like, <laughs> and just, and then one by one, everyone just kept tweeting about this car because it's just like, wow, the, 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 like, the, some people were like mixed. Some people were thought, okay, this is 50% fake, 50%, um, you know, real. So, but th there was just a lot of weird questions. And of course, with that, li with that licensing that just showed up right there, um, with the copyright line acquiring that, it definitely makes a lot more people interested that maybe this might be legit, but then you got to look at like, okay, how many, I mean, first of all, I love what this guy did with the clamshell packaging. I mean, this right here is something that, I mean, at the green light collectibles and Acme diecast can get right. So, um, but we've had clamshell packaging before for winter circle, which I mean, we will be going through the history of winter circles probably later in this video because hell man, there is just a good reason why I love Winter Circle diecast. Um, but what's even cool about this, guys, uh, with the resealable packaging, you got the cut, you got um, the diecast stand as well. So it kind of feels like you know diecast buffet might have had some some uh, you know inspiration with that idea. Because heck, who doesn't love diecast stands? And then the trading card as well. I mean, everything just looks like this guy. Probably if this was fake, he would have done a damn good job. Because uh, you know it does sound kind of odd, you know, when the guy's going out uh, to a Henrik uh, store and then you know. You never know what people are going to be doing on social media nowadays just to get, you know, views. So, <laughs> look at me. I just ran about diecast, so it works. <laughs> but for real, guys. Um, yeah, th th this is just a... Um, and I'm sorry if I feel like I'm just, like, all over the damn place. Heck, you know. Um, th this right here, as you can see, it has just completely just mind-fucked my mind. Because I'm like, how in the hell is Winter Circles back? Like, what? Like, there's no way. <laughs> but then... When people were tweeting this out, as we're getting back to that segment, um, to Lionel, they just, um, they would automatically shut it down and said, hey, you know, this is fake. But they just said, seeing the obvious, it looks like a toy car. And then, like I just mentioned with the Daily Downforce, uh, Lionel, uh, <laughs> um, you know, are, are pretty good friends with the Daily Downforce. So, you know, they were able to exchange, uh, you know, replies. And um, Lionel came up with another pretty, uh, you know, uh, average meme, I will say that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the die case community seeing a photo at us, so you can tell Lionel is something. They, they're, they're having a little fun with the trolling, so I kind of do appreciate that. But uh, heck, <laughs> um, just a good way of just showing us uh, yeah, our appreciation for the die case community. Um, and again, a lot of people were saying, "Hey, is this shit real? Is this shit fake?" And they're saying, "These days, you never can tell." So, <laughs> and then of course, I'm underneath them, like the suspense. God damn it! <laughs> but yeah, I mean. So I know a lot of people are like, well, okay, that isn't much as been instance as we know. But so you're probably wondering now why Lionel probably does not want to acknowledge this. Well, apparently there was something big that was coming around summertime. Um, I was going to say around next month or July or August. Some big announcement was coming. I don't know what it was going to be, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I think someone screwed up. So falling back on that story, guys, uh, what uh, OP just replied back after this whole story broke and he basically broke the internet. And OP, if you're watching this, man, um, hey, 
you, you broke the internet, man. So congratulations. <laughs> really do appreciate that guy, man. But um, give that guy a follow, man. He's a, he has a Twitter. I'll probably put his username somewhere in this video. But um, man, well, what an interesting story this is being so far. But anyways, when he was getting back uh, from that firestorm, the frenzy that we had on social media, um, he would. Uh, <laughs> um, he said he he actually actually had time to go back and went to the Hendrix shop. To get some more clarity and i guess he asked uh, some of the workers behind the counter about it and they said hey they sold out fast and they weren't even supposed to sell this out on the shelves yet so i don't know if they hired some new guy at the henry motorsports gift shop who didn't know what he was doing or just said hey you know these shelves are looking a little full or a little um that uh, clearly i don't know what you know what, uh, what's full or empty <laughs> these shelves are looking kind of empty um heck you know i should just fill these up with these cars and um Ironically, it was only one, but still, though, man, that right there. <laughs> and I think I even got, um, I think I even heard from, like, I don't know, some other sources. Um, if I can find the screenshots of this, I'll probably t tell you guys. But apparently, someone did call, I guess, um, someone's friend, I guess, who works for, I guess, Henry Motorsports Gift Shop. And I guess they kind of overheard someone behind the counter and they said, shit, we're not supposed to sell this. Oh, Lord. So, as you can see, there's a lot of pressure. They were not supposed to do this. So, something tells me that Lionel's not saying jack shit because it's going to ruin the whole hype. Well, kind of a little too late, but then again, this is not the first time we've had Lionel leaked um, some diecast out a little early from the diecast community. Um, so Lionel needs to definitely get better with, uh, you know, they better put everything in secret vaults now, you know, <laughs> paint it gold or that diamond finish that they keep praising. My Lord, shine bright like a diamond, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just, um, I know I sound all over the place. I don't really care. This is just, you know. My take on a interesting topic that I thought would get a lot of people talking and hopefully talking for weeks. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> again, I mean, can I thank OP enough for just uh, this? Because like, yeah, th this is just a weird mystery, man. And a lot of people are like, okay, so why is the main reason why does it, and there's a lot of people already speculating and I'm not saying anything is confirmed yet, but uh, you know, there's just some really good uh, observ observations from coming from a lot of you guys, especially on the Reddit and also in Discord. But um yeah, uh, your boy has a red as well, so <laughs> we're going to get some more insight about this shit. So, you know, if you guys want to, you know, uh, continue following along, hit that subscribe button and like this video as we're getting back into this uh, nice long video. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, a lot of people probably wonder, okay, why Winter Circle? Why did Lionel decide to bring this back? Well, as you guys know, <laughs> that they're, they're <laughs> um, <laughs> before we actually get to that, guys. Before we actually get to that, because this is the main reason why I actually did not want to upload this video, because after this whole firestorm and a whole frenzy that we had from the 17th, um, actually, what, the 16th, but you know what I mean, uh, but coming in, like, what was, like, yesterday, Lionel made a big announcement for, for you know, the 17th of this year, May, all right, <laughs> I don't know why I had to clarify that, but as you can see, just, you know, Lionel's kind of, you know, pretty obvious. No shit, Sherlock. But big announcement that was coming along, and a lot of people are like, all right, well, this is probably, you know, them confirming Winter Circles. So, well, you want to talk about the biggest troll moment ever, as this might be the only time I'll probably actually do a rant in this type of video. I know this video is all over the place, but heck, you know, if you guys like this uncontrolled chaos, that is my YouTube channel. So, appreciate you guys for that. But, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, this, <laughs> the big announcement... You want to know what this big announcement is? As I'm going to show you a diecast of the car. All right. The announcement was this. which has nothing to do with NASCAR Authentics or Winter Circles, has to go to Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s NASCAR Classics car up for pre-order. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration, and 20 more fucking times we are going to see this car produced. Last time I checked, I think this car was actually, if you guys don't know, this is the iconic Dale Earnhardt Sr. 1998 Daytona 500 race win car even though a lot of people were like well these are commemorative wins they're not actually race wins but if you look closely at the photo guys that definitely is not a not really much race stuff right but what's even more obscure and crazy about this guys we are getting a 164 of this for 11 bucks which is you know pretty pricey for a uh you know a uh, old scale die cast but would you believe you guys 
you guys thought you only pay like 50 60 probably for this car how about 95 dollars 95 dollars for a 124 scale nascar diecast way more than the next gen car and this thing is literally like what like decade fuck like i mean no disrespect to dale art senior but like what a ripoff what an absolute ripoff man like you you guys think that this was going to <laughs> get everyone hyped up everybody on their mind was like winter circles this has to be the announcement and then they're like well you know no I'm sorry we, we do got stuff in the works but <laughs> as you can see some of these screen, screenshots we got right here i mean wow that i mean just the ultimate troll moment guys and then a lot of people just kept spamming on uh, spamming on this and uh they just kept you know getting the replies hey don't worry we got some cool stuff in the works a lot of cool stuff in the works yeah indeed all right <laughs> oh lord i i swear to god i just uh, you can see shout out to Danny delivers as well he uh you know also commented on that but that was the social media frenzy that we had about this and now you guys are probably like okay so what do i think about this guys well let me tell you what you know i probably went through like what like the seven stages of grief looking at this uh car because i was just like and you know it did you know coming home from a long work day at work and then you know thinking about this for like what like, two three days now where it sounds like a sad love story i know <laughs> but um yeah it, i i just kept thinking about it. i was like dude and a lot of people kind of speculated maybe all this bad news that we had with nascar authentics with them being on these crappy ptc or the jat mold whatever the hell you want to call it elemental poq fuck you i mean <laughs> at that rate i mean and then of course the blurry decal situations like it just seems like most of these waves are just getting rushed and produced that's what it felt like do you think maybe this is why they did this so they could just put all the effort onto this onto this because heck you know if you're bringing back a line known as winter circles you better make sure you get this shit right man because if you don't get it right then I, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> i mean you guys have been in the diecast business for like what like 10 plus years now and the i mean i understand you know everything has changed with the economy but like wow man i just <laughs> you i mean i will say one thing you somehow got winter circles back so that's pretty cool that is pretty nice but what i'm thinking about what the why we sh I, I'm still hyped about this, guys. Like, I mean, I will be getting to more about why I'm so hyped about this. But at the end of the day, guys, this is probably just going to be, like, some special wave they're going to have. It's probably going to be, like, a one or done thing. I mean, maybe if it gains enough traction. But, you know, NASCAR Authentics and the retail line has kind of lost their direction. They don't really know who they're trying to cater to because, clearly, nothing's working right now. So, <laughs> besides Wave 9. Wave 9 was just chef's kiss beautiful. Excluding that Truex DeWalt car. But, <laughs> I mean... And a lot of people are like, all right, so do I believe that all this stuff that I'm seeing right there? Because, you know, everyone can fabricate stuff on internet. Heck, you know, this video might even be fake and fabricated. Yeah, you know, AI made this whole video. <laughs> but not for real, man. I think maybe 80% of this stuff is true, okay? There's probably a slight 20, maybe 15% that I still think I don't know about this. But I don't know. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of things, but this is why this video is kind of complicated and very directionless or, you know, whatever kind of English words going to come out of my mouth at the end of this video. <laughs> but just, um, I'm like a lost puppy just trying to find my home, man. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> I, it, 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 I, for any guys do not know, all right, the reason why I love collecting the retail line for NASCAR is because, heck, you know, I've been a NASCAR fan for 20 plus years. And the only way I was able to get die cast, you know, um, growing up in a military family was just, hey, you know, Walmart, because I always travel a lot. <laughs> so I couldn't really, you know, shop around and get to know any dealers until like I know now. So, but yeah, um, long story short, man, uh, my first ever die cast I bought, which is right behind me. It is that Bobby Levante 2001 Interstate Batteries car right over there. Um, I was able to get one for my grandma for like um, like a few years ago, and I was like, that was awesome because that was the first ever car that I actually picked up from from <laughs> for NASCAR, and I just fell in love with it ever since, man. And then ever since, I was like a freaking pipsqueak. Um, I just been going to the wall. I've been excited to go to Walmart. You know, I mean, who doesn't love shopping for food? But heck, I, I was the guy who loves shopping for diecast. And you know, I see just these bright, beautiful packaging that we got. I mean, um, as I'm showing you guys, like some of the stuff right here, Winter Circles. Just it's just a love child for me guys uh this is the 90s packaging that we got um 
keep in mind this is what you got in the retail guys this is why i praise so much about winter circle they were originally made by hasbro um but heck man hasbro did a damn good job you know <laughs> getting these die casts into the stores and then here i got myself a uh, jimmy johnson uh, lowe's one i mean uh, this is from the early 2000s this is when i believe action race collectibles just started taking over so we all know action and then we get on to this is probably when i really started becoming a fan um because i remember these things like hearts the 2004 and tales of the packaging i mean my god i i still remember when i was a kid at kb toys i was like you know there was two die casts i don't still have my collection i still want it's that tony stewart old spice car from his uh from the nationwide or the bush series or the mm -hmm series because you know i can't say bush as i'm showing a winston logo that's you know very offensive <laughs> i'm a hypocrite but just wow man the, the, this is the type of stuff i love and this is what made me fell in love in a kit as a kid um oh, yeah, i think the other one was like a ryan newman 39 all tell car so yeah those two i still dream about them because i i, I just remember i wanted to get my kb toys and i couldn't so um just man <laughs> uh and then we get on to this which i think is pretty much uh you know everyone who's mostly watching this video probably knows the age range for this uh for this type of uh <laughs> generation for winter circles this right here that nice orange background i mean holy shit man this is the thing that just got me excited i was just like man especially in 2007 8 um even when i had an off year in 2009 i, I was still kind of excited about nascar i was just like man that packaging is cool guys i still think it's one of my favorite packaging designs that we've ever got in retails for nascar authentics because it's absolutely beautiful very indestructible packaging even though a lot of people are like how do you take this packaging out it's very simple just look at a green light collectibles video um with the clamshell packaging because that's how i was able to uh you know master that but <laughs> just amazing and look at this guys what's even cool i mean like i think the main reason why they want to bring back winter circles is because they want to get back the hype race wind die cast and you can see here is a one of my most prized possession the race wind die cast of Martin Truex jr i mean they made every single one of this in Tales 7 so you can see why a lot of people love the winter circles line and they even had chase pieces as well guys i found this at a freaking flea market but that is a gold dale jr car very rare and then the last time we've ever got winter circles was 2010 they came back with the repackage design, which these cards are kind of hard to find now. So good luck trying to find them. But this is the, and ironically enough, after my off year in NASCAR, 2010 was the year I got back into collecting. And it was the Mark Barn to Go Daddy car that got me back into collecting and watching NASCAR again. So all came full circle. And heck, you know, now no one has to criticize why I criticize NASCAR things, I guess, because heck, I have been with this bitch for a while, my friends. So. That's just all the knowledge to the power, but, um, or any kind of point to this, but yeah, again, guys, I mean, this is just, just a, I, I don't even know what to even like think or just say about what's going on, but all I can say is guys, if this is the kind of hope that we were waiting for, for NASCAR authentics in the retail line, um, hell man, I'm probably giving me more of a positive petty instead of a fucking negative Nancy or Nelly, <laughs> oh Lord, but yeah man i i'm excited i am i mean if this ends up to being true then absolutely man i think that this is this is something that we need because like there's just i mean <laughs> so much negative energy in the diecast community and we have our reasons but this could balance everything out and lionel racing could be forgiven this is their last time we can forgive them if they can master the winter circles line but yeah, I mean, after that, guys, I mean, we're here. I'm, I'm already uploading this video and recording on the 18th. So it should be out by probably tomorrow on the 19th. But um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know this video might sound pointless. And I keep saying that, but just, um, heck, you guys wanted to hear my reaction. So heck, that's mostly about the GIF. I guess today, as you can see, I, I still probably have a lot more stuff I want to, I don't know, say on the top of my forehead. But, uh, you know, until we learn any more new information, then uh, heck, that's pretty much pretty much all there is to say guys feel free to comment below if you have anything else to share about this uh video guys as uh yeah let's just keep this thing rocking and rolling and let's uh get a continuous update and heck if this ends up being true and lionel makes that big announcement not like what they did with the damn dale senior car then we could see um we might see the grand return of nascar diecast being great again in uh the brick and mortar stores i really hope so as you can see i'm 
acting like an emotional bitch right now, but <laughs> um, I only do it because I care, man. I only just I, I just care, and everyone deserves you know great quality Asgard Icast. Um, no matter if you shop online or at the retail store, you should be able to get a good quality product. And hell, that's that's what just what I want. And with Winter Circles, hopefully we're gonna hopefully that message will come across to us collectors very soon. But we tune with me again, guys. This has been OVP, the Icast News Guy. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Really do appreciate you guys' support as, uh, yeah. Um, feel free if you guys want me to, I don't know, do more to these types of videos. Always looking forward to giving you guys more variety on this channel. But uh, until we meet again, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. I'll see you guys back on the reunion station and the rant station very soon. I got a few more up my sleeve. So, but yeah, until we meet again, guys, this has been, this has been uh, Original Big Bry, Ryan signing off. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a good weekend.